guys, Genesis Moss here, and about three weeks ago I made a video talking about my feelings on Gamergate and just the whole situation. And more recently than that, I made a parody video of the 25 invisible privileges of being a gamer while male that is on the Feminist Frequency YouTube channel. Now obviously, many gamers like myself, many people who just really, really love video games, are pretty fed up and upset with the way Anita Sarkeesian has taken gamers and bubbled them into this misogynistic negative stereotype and we just want to see an input to her constant BS. So I did a bit of research into Anita and I started finding these memes with quotes from Anita saying that she is not a fan of video games. Wasn't it just that long ago that Anita said that she really loves video games and that they are where we are going? How do you feel about video games? I still love them. Um, I, you know, I think games are really where we're going. Video games are so interesting and engaging and interactive. I, I'm a gamer and I enjoy games. I, I love games. I'm, I'm a, a, a fan of games. That she did. So obviously she loves video games, right? She obviously knows so much about games, right? She would never, ever say she's not a fan of video games, would she? I mean, there's just no way she would lie to us about this, is there? I mean, she's got to love video games, right? Well, I did a quick search on the meme just because I was curious. And you just can't believe every quote you read on the internet. And I found out that it's true. Watch this clip. I'm going to show you a remix that I just finished this weekend and no one else has seen. Mm. <laughs> one person has seen it. It's a soundtrack of one song, except I'm doing video games. So it's not exactly a fandom. I'm not a fan of video games. I actually had to learn a lot about video games in the process of making this. I don't want to go around shooting people and ripping off their heads and it's just gross. Whoa! Right there! She said it. It has been caught on camera. Let's play that again fandom. I'm not a fan of video games. I actually... She said it, guys. She is not a fan of video games. Well, excuse me, princess. Where do you get off criticizing games and gamers when you had to learn about video games? I actually had to learn a lot about video games in the process of making this. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but most of us gamers didn't have to learn about games. We were born into it. Heck, there's not a time in my life that I can remember when video games weren't a major part of it. And then, Anita, you go on to say this! I don't want to go around shooting people and ripping off their heads and it's just gross. Now, I am not going to say that we don't have a lot of video games out there that involve a lot of shooting and heads getting cut off. That's what Gears of War and Mortal Kombat are for. Heck, in Gears of War, not only can you shoot people, but you can chop the bad guys in half with a chainsaw and it's beautiful! But you also have so many games that are not violent. Legend of Zelda, Super Mario Bros., Tetris, Sonic the Hedgehog, and even the really popular game that people keep sending me stupid Facebook invites for, Candy Crush Saga. These are games that do not involve mass violence. These are games that do not involve shooting, that do not involve blood and guts, and they are just the tip of the iceberg. Anita, you know so little about video games that you can't even tell when your controller is clearly not powered on. Okay? You are not a gamer. You know nothing about video games, and that's what burns me the most. If you were at least a real gamer coming out here with these issues that you're bringing forth, I wouldn't have so much of a problem with you. If you were somebody that had the balls to admit that you do not know that much about games, and that you are basing this off of the knowledge that you currently have, I wouldn't have a problem with it because at least you would be being honest, but you're coming out here saying, I love video games. You obviously do not love video games. You obviously are not a gamer. In fact, Anita, what you are, you are the female Jack Thompson. The only difference between Jack Thompson and you is the fact that you are getting attention from the social justice warriors who want to ride in like a white knight and save the damsel in distress. The damsel in distress that you are making yourself out to be. The damsel in distress that you say no woman should ever be. But you're making yourself out to be just that, Anita. You are not a gamer. In fact, you are just awful. I, I, I have no respect for you, 
Anita, because you have no respect for gamers. All you want to do is make a name for yourself with feminist frequency, and since you couldn't make it any other way, you started attacking gamers. And now that we're rising up and saying something back to you, you're disabling your comments, you're disabling your like and dislike system, how much of a coward can you be? Why don't you come out and actually say something to somebody? Have the nerve to reply to some tweets. Have the nerve to allow comments on your videos and reply to these comments. Let people know that you are what you say you are because you're obviously not. You're too much of a coward to allow yourself to be called out. You are awful, Anita. You can't even just... Alright guys, I'm getting so angry. I'm just stumbling over myself at this point. So I'm just going to end this just the best way I know how at this point. Anita... You're hurting the calls that you claim to be so passionate about. You're giving gamers a bad name. You're giving yourself a bad name. You're just stirring the pot. And I'm just going to quote one of my mom's ex-husbands here by saying, the more you stir the crap, the more it stinks. And you're stirring it and stirring it and stirring it and just making things stink more and more and more. You need to stop, Anita. And I'm not asking you to stop because of your views. I'm asking you to stop because you're not even a gamer. And if you disgust me. You absolutely, completely, and totally disgust me, Anita Sarkeesian. And I'm, I'm done for right now. I'm getting worked up. I can't keep on talking about this without getting more and more passionate. So I'm just going to end the video by saying, Anita, cut the crap and just admit that you are a fake a fraud, a con artist. Admit what you are and stop now. Thank you guys for watching. Click that like button, subscribe, and comment.